day to all the learners deck viewers out there and uh, today in this tutorial we'll discuss how we can insert different shapes within Microsoft PowerPoint and uh, there are actually four different options by which shapes can be merged intersect or they can be combined all together but uh, I personally believe and if you'll uh, research you'll find out that this is one of the most underrated option that Microsoft PowerPoint has. So let's start and let's see how we can insert shapes and what are the different categories which are available in this particular ribbon. So for this, uh, this is your blank uh, presentation slide. Whenever you'll open a new PowerPoint slide, this will be your home page. The very first thing that you need to do is go to this view ribbon, insert ruler and grid lines. These two options are very important uh, if you are dealing with shapes so that uh, it helps you to align different shapes all together and uh, the visibility of your slide becomes much more powerful. So make sure that you have checked both these options. Uh, once you have checked both these options, now we'll go to the ribbon insert. Within ribbon insert, you'll find a set of command which is called as illustration. So there are five different options. The first one is shapes. The second one is icon. The third one is 3D models. This is one of the most uh, enhanced feature Microsoft PowerPoint has. We'll be discussing this feature in our upcoming videos. The smart art and the chart. These uh, You must be familiar with these options as these are pretty much similar in different Microsoft Office applications. Now, let's try and insert a shape. These are the shape categories. Let's first analyze the categories. The very first category is lines and the on top you'll see the recently used shape. After lines you'll see rectangles, different kind of rectangles. Then you'll have a set of commands which uh, consist of basic shapes. Basic shapes for example oval, triangle, isosceles triangle, trapezoid, circle, hexagonal etc. Now after this you'll have block arrows, different denomination of arrows. Then you'll have some logical operator signs which are called as equation shapes. After that you'll have flow chart signs uh, starting from the processing box till this IO box or the display box that we call. After this you'll have some banners, stars, callouts and then action buttons. So uh, let's start. Let's try and insert a simple circle in our Microsoft PowerPoint slide. So for circle, you need to go to the basic shape and here you'll find a circle. Please note that uh, we will be discussing union and intersection of different objects. So we'll let you know how you can transfer these. So let's for example draw a circle from this flowchart and with this circle i'll try and insert another picture let's go for a rectangle so these are the two basic shapes which i have drawn when you'll click on these shapes uh, you'll see that uh, a format ribbon will appear on top so when you'll click on the slide it will disappear and when you'll click on this shop on this particular shape the format will appear within this sh format you will have different options for example insert shapes shape styles word art styles accessibility arrange and size these are all options which are available let's start with shape styles within shape styles the very first option is a shape fill within shape fills you can have uh, different colors. Please note that Microsoft PowerPoint has introduced a new option which is called as eyedropper. If you are familiar with Photoshop and different Adobe illustrators uh, or different Adobe uh, flavors, you must be aware of this particular feature. Let me explain what is this. For example, let me change the color of this triangle rectangle and I'll just mark it orange. Now I'll click on this circle. I'll go here, select eyedropper and you can pick the color from anywhere uh, around the slide. For example, you have inserted a picture as a background and now you would like a shape to be uh, of colors one uh, which are available in that picture. So you can easily select this eyedropper. I'll go here. I'll select this. See, now my shape has now become orange, which is the which was the color of this rectangle. 
So it's perfect and it's easy to use. So this is the purpose of eyedropper. You can also insert a picture within the shape. This is the option. And these are the two different options, gradients and texture. So uh, the other way to format the shape is you can click here, right click and click on this format shape. So you'll see that uh, a new window will pop up on right hand side of the screen. If you're writing something, you can always use this word art style, but currently we are not writing anything. The next purpose of this video is to let you know how we can actually merge two shapes. So for example, let me contradict both these shapes. Now both are here. If I'll select both these shapes, see a new option within this insert shape, which is called as merge shapes will be activated. If you'll click on this drop down menu, you'll see that there are five different options. Uh, I'll just hover my mouse pointer so that you can uh, see all these options. The very first option is union. Union means both these shapes will be combined. So this is how, see currently uh, you think that both these are different shapes and you can see the outline of this rectangle here. But when I'll go to this union, it will combine both these shape that is why it is called as union now the second one is combine combine means the area which is being intersected will remain blank and other areas will be joined the third option here is fragmented fragmented means the area which is intersected or which is in contact in between these two shapes will appear as a unique set or a unique shape as you can see from the illustration on my screen that the area which is uh, a common in between these two shapes is now in blue highlighted color now the next option here is intersect so when i'll use this intersect it will make sure that only the area which is common in between these two pictures will appear on your screen or will remain visible and other areas will be disappeared like this one so let me go and uh, use the union and now when i'll come to this intersect you can see the only area which is available or which is common in between these two shapes is available on your screen and rest of the picture is now disappeared so this is one of the most important features in fact when you are using it for different animations and you are designing your pre presentation slides uh, this option can be of utmost importance because uh, there are instances when you need different shapes and you don't find them uh, within insert shapes or as a particular shape in different options so by using these five options what you can do is you can create one of your own so these customizations can let you make your presentation much more visible viable and audience or viewer oriented the last option here is the subtract one so subtract means that the area which is uh, actually common in between these two shapes will be subtracted and the remaining will be uh, available or visible on your screen as you can see here so for example if i'm using uh, the intersection I'll have uh, the luxury of going back and then changing the colors of uh, both these currently they are grouped together because uh, uh, we have selected union but you can always go and change the colors of both these shapes now let me uh, let me go here and what I'll do is I'll change it to the original format which is this so see what we can actually do with this particular feature let me change the color of the slide uh, you can change the color of the slide by right clicking here go to format background or you'll uh, a small format background window will appear on right side of your screen just select some brighter colors so that it becomes much more visible to the viewers i'll go here and see what happens now i'll try to use that insert shape option by selecting both these images see now i'll be able to create a much viable look see when i'm using combine it becomes much more viewer oriented and when i'll use inters intersect it becomes a new completely new design so you can use it in different ways uh, uh, how you would like to 
present so this is one of the major options and the major luxuries that my microsoft powerpoint is now providing you please do use these options and make sure that you're subscribed to our youtube channel which is learner deck and stay tuned for more exciting videos thanks for watching this one